show you guys how to vacuum your pool just with some basic cleaning equipment that most pools have poolside. Come with me. What we've got here is just your standard in-ground pool. As you can see, it's not too dirty. A few bits and pieces that are in there that we'll be able to vacuum out. Upon checking the skimmer, it just uses a Waterco vacuum plate, which we'll use. That's going to uh, connect straight with our hose. So I'll untangle this in a sec. Hose goes straight in the vacuum plate and then onto the end of the vacuum head. Hold on a sec, I'm sweating. <laughs> so what we've got here is your telepole, uh, which is an extendable telescopic pole. We've got flexible vacuum heads. We personally always use flexible vacuum heads with the wheels. There is the brush type for vinyl or fiberglass pools. Uh, pick your weapon kind of thing. And with the hose, you wanna make sure your swivel cuff end of the hose goes onto the vacuum head. Push it down, twist it as you put it on, so it's on nice and firm. That will enable the hose to spin freely and not get any tangles. Now from here, you wanna drop your vacuum head into the pool. Make sure your head's fully submerged so the hose is underwater and then we'll connect it up to the skimmer box. Now you can see here in the skimmer box, everything's nice and clean. Uh, there's no sort of leaves or debris in the skimmer box at the moment, which is good. What we're gonna do now is put the vacuum plate in and connect it up. Now, there's a few ways you can get the air out of the hose. We need to make sure the air is out of the hose, otherwise you're gonna run your pump dry. You can try and find a return on the pool to put your hose onto the return pipe to blow the water or the air out via using the water. We use these hoses daily, we know they're clean, we know they're safe, so we tend to just suck the air out of the pool, out of the hose ourselves. Um, don't recommend it if you guys are at home. Make sure your hose is nice and clear or clean or regularly used or stored correctly so there's no sort of spiders or any sort of creepy crawlies that are in there. Uh, but that's what I'm going to do in this instance. So now that we've got all the air out of the out of that pipe, you should be able to connect the vacuum plate. You'll hear that pull down and away it goes. Connected, off we go straight into the vacuuming. Just extend the pole, lock it in tight. That's an external cam lock. We want to lock that in so it's nice and stiff. And then all you're going to be doing is just going backwards and forwards across the pool, vacuum up any little bits of debris. Now, slow and steady wins the race with this kind of procedure. You don't want to be stirring up any of the debris that's in the pool, um, scooting over it. So nice and slow. We've vacuumed the pool, you can see it's spotless. What I'm gonna do here, this is, a little, this is a little bit of a tricky one. Um, people might have different ways of doing it. What we tend to do um, is pulling the whole cleaner head out of the pool while it's still connected. The air will run through the hose line to the skimmer box. And hopefully in those few seconds, I can get to the skimmer box and disconnect it, take the vacuum plate out and away it goes. Some air might get in the system, not critical. Um, yeah, it's not, not a big issue. Let's see how we go. Done. And then out like so. So you just peel the plate back with the air that bleeds in the valve. You can peel the plate back and away it comes quite easy and freely. Small amount of debris in this pool, so it's not, not too much to empty there. So we've got here the range of water techniques cleaning equipment. Well, this is some of it. Uh, this is the Pro Series. So the difference between the Pro Series and the Standard Series that you guys will be familiar with is the Pro Series has a heavy duty net. It's got the rubber ring around the frame there. So the lip of the rake is just easy, easy wearing on your pool. Aluminium handle here, as you can see, and it's all reinforced. Now with the brush, it's got an aluminium backing on the back of the brush there. You can see it's got a really wide broom width, 45 centimeters and then the heavy duty nylon bristles that are in the front of the brush as well. So this is our Water Technics Pro range. We'll give it a bit of a go now. Holy shit. You can see the brush here in the pool, um, very erg ergonomic, easy to push through. So when you push the brush straight through, you can see it gets that real fine layer of dust off the bottom of the pool. So uh, again, you can use the, the corners of the brush to get into the sides of your pool there. So if you've got any hard to reach places, you can get there easily. And because the brush is made with the aluminium backing on it, it is super heavy duty. So you can put real force behind it, give it a good push, give it a good brush, and you're not gonna get any sort of kickback from the brush. We love these brushes, they're fantastic. They won't snap, they won't bend. Uh, they are resilient to all the uh, pool chemicals that you add to your pool. 
and of course they're all made with UV stabilised chemicals so they're going to withstand the harsh Australian environment for years to come. So this is the Water Technics Pro Leaf Shovel. Now the difference between our rake and our shovel is the front lip along here. So as you can see it has a shovel like lip. So the rake has a firm lip at 90 degrees. Uh, this has a forward lip just like resembling a shovel. So in the pool uh, you can either skim on the top of the surface quite easily. So if you had any sort of leaves or debris, it's got a really wide open mouth, able to catch any sort of sticks, leaves, debris, anything like that that'd be floating in your pool with a really deep heavy duty net. Like you can see there how deep the net is. And the back of the net is actually reinforced. So perfect for concrete, pebblecrete, any sort of pool surfaces that may be rough, um, also with the fiberglass and vinyl pools. Now, going back to what I was saying with the shovel, is if you have debris on the floor of the pool, what you can actually do is put the shovel on the floor of the pool like so, and then push it forward like a shovel. This will then capture any sort of debris that's on the floor of the pool, or at least lift it off the floor so then you can come back behind it and you can scoop it up like so. Once you've got all your debris out of the pool, you can grab the bag, use the tag on the back of the bag, and you can walk to the side of the pool, empty it out, drain it accordingly. All right, so we've tested the pool. Uh, thankfully, the pool doesn't need too much. Uh, we do have the range of Water Technics chemicals available for all pools. Here today, we're just going to be using some of the Water Technics buffer or alkalinity up. We're going to be using the Water Technics phosphate remover and the Water Technics algicide. Now, all of these chemicals are pretty common in most backyard pools. Uh, usually, either fortnightly or monthly treatments is probably required for most pools. Uh, we'll get these in and uh, we'll show you what they look like in the pool. We're going to start with adding the algicide first. Um, always in, read the instructions on the back of the label. They are there for a reason. So crack the bottle and give it a shake beforehand. If, if you want, crack the bottle. Get that lid off. All right, now just pouring it in the pool. Now when you're done with your bottle as well, you can just fill it up with some pool water, swish it around, get that last out of it. Every drop counts. Secondly, all right, same thing with the phosphate remover. Read the instructions, know your dose for your pool. Crack the bottle. These can go in next to each other, on top of each other, that's fine. They're not harmful or dangerous in any way. To your pool. They are dangerous and harmful to humans. <laughs> Beautiful. Now lastly, the buffer. Just pull the ring pull tab there, open the bucket. Now you can see the pool's going slightly cloudy there, just from the chemical reaction from the phosphate remover. That's basically going against all the phosphates that are in the pool. It's active, actively working now as we speak to kill that algae and phosphate in the pool. Add that. Beautiful. Now you can see that buffer was ultra fine, really high quality. You can see it's already dissolved before it's hit the bottom of the pool. You can also dissolve your chemicals in a bucket beforehand, stir it and then add it to your pool if you wish. Otherwise we've got the brush here, we'll give the residual of that a quick broom and just get it through the pool. Hit that. How good is that brush?